let's look into how this uh, assembly process takes place so we start with a sample and uh, we'll see how we can break that sample and how we can sequence it so there are uh, in this outline we see that uh, we can have at first we can have a sample preparation uh, then we will submit our samples for sequencing we will do assembly and then in the end then and that assembly will go through a finishing process and uh, we have the final assemblies uh, so DNA is collected from the uh, biological samples uh, which are then followed by library preps uh, remember guys we talked about library preps so we take those fragments we break them we add adapters and we we then have some quality controls for example if the sequencer is giving you 100 base pair reads uh, your your fragments should be uh, more or less equivalent to that length so those kind of things are there in sample preparation here is a overview of this sample preparation so when we take that genomic dna we do those random fragmentations so we can break into longer fragments and we can break into shorter fragments so both the processes they have their pros and cons advantages and disadvantages so what we do here is on one side we have those 270 base pair fragments and uh, on the other side we have longer fragments which are 4 to 8 kb base fragments so depending upon your question depending upon the sensitivity of your experiment you can vary these lengths now we take these uh, short and long uh, fragments and we do uh, pair and uh, sequencing where what we do here is uh, we take these fragments and we submit only their ends for sequencing and then the middle portion we skip that so we call this part as insert so we have for example here short insert on this side uh, we see this insert has this sign uh, that actually is indicating that this insert is really long so we have long inserts here both of them are obviously paired and uh, reads and uh, sequencers they produce tens of millions of reads on both sides so the output from sequencer consists of many million short unordered DNA fragments reads uh, so sequencer get back to us with those large number of short reads what we do to them we can put them together we can align those reads and here as we see that those fragments are aligned and we see their ends are overlapping so in this way uh, we can have uh, these these overlaps between these reads and where we can put them together based upon these overlaps and assemble in those contexts so the overlap relations are captured in a large assembly graph so these uh, here what we are seeing uh, in this picture is uh, these overlaps are represented in the shape of a graph so what we do here is we take those reads and we break them into further small fragments like um, uh, we, we call it as gamers like for example the read is 100 base pair uh, we can uh, take a segment like 10 base pairs from it so where we are our k-mer size is 10 and we then uh, compare or we then overlap those k-mers with one another so when we overlap those k-mers we recognize those uh, k-mers as nodes and the edges between these nodes are actually uh, representing their overlap so in this way we come up with a graph where these nodes and edges are there so after that graph is refined we put those overlapping nodes together into contexts and we can come up with an initial set of contexts and from those contexts we can find our scaffolds okay so finally the uh, mates and uh, we do have some markers on those scaffolds or on those contexts so actually there are some sequences uh, which we call them as markers so they guide us how do we put these scaffolds in a shape of an order so with the help of these markers and with the help of these mates uh, we kind of refine and simplify our assemblies and finally we get back to an assembled genome so what so far we have seen here is that genome assembly process is divided into these following phases so we do sample preps uh, we do some sequencing uh, which is done by those uh, next generation sequencers and then uh, we do these assemblies and these assemblies are finally refined